In this video, we are going to talk about a Photoshop workaround. So we have mockups, they're print on demand mockups. These mockups contain a smart object layer so that we can switch out. Like we're looking at a blanket for an example. I want to switch out this example checkered blanket with my blanket design to put this up in my Etsy store, but I don't use Photoshop. So we're going to walk through a workaround to edit the smart object layer without having to buy Photoshop and learn how to use it. Hey guys, I'm Gina. I am a full-time e-commerce and Etsy coach, and I help people sell stuff online. And this is Ramona. Okay, so for this example, we're going to use mock-up templates from a print-on-demand supplier called Custom Cat, and we're working on blankets. So I'm on their website. You can download the mock-ups from here. You can see when I download this, these come in as Photoshop files. So that's like a .psd file. Now I am a diehard Canva fan and you can open these files in Canva, but it is a hot mess to try to edit the smart object layer there. Um, but you can see this is kind of what we're working with. So these would be mockups that once I get my design on this, I can put this in my Etsy store for the listing when I'm trying to sell this blanket. So we're going to be using a website called PhotoP. This is a free website. It's PhotoP.com and I'm going to open from computer. So I want to open one of these blanket mockups to start. Now that I've got the mockup open, you'll see here on the right hand side, it's going to be a list of your layers. Now, depending on whether this opens with this collapsed or not, you may see a lot more stuff, but what we're looking for is this top layer that says at design, and I'm going to double click this box icon. This is going to open a new tab up here. This is the smart object tab. So this is where that example design is. So I want to now replace this with my own design. So I'm going to do that by going to file, open and place. From here, I'm looking for my design file. So this is just a flat PNG file that I created in Canva for my blanket. Once this opens, I'm just going to drag this so that it fills up the entire field. Now this image is like the blanket is crunkled up and it's on a couch. So it doesn't actually matter if like, you know, this I've got words cut off or not. I just want to take up the entire field. So from here, I can now delete the example layer here on the right, the checkers. So I'm just going to hit delete on my computer. And I also want to go to file and hit save smart object. Once that's updated, I can now go back to the original tab here up on the left. And now you can see this reflects my blanket. All I have to do from here is hit file and export as. I'm going to save it as a PNG. Hit this save button here. This is going to get downloaded to my computer and now I can upload this to my Etsy listing. Let's walk through it one more time just for kicks. So I'm going to go to file and we're going to open. I'm going to grab one of the other mockups. We'll do a different one this time. Hit open. So this is open a new tab. So you can see here, these are from my first project. So I can ignore those. I'm going to be looking for that at design, double click that box icon, file, open in place. From here, I'm just grabbing my own design that's loading. I'm just going to drag this and adjust it so that I'm taking up this entire field. I'm going to delete the example checkers. Bye bye. I'm going to hit file and we are going to save smart object. Once that's updated, I can go back. Now this is the tab that I'm currently working on and you can see my blanket is right here and now I can just save it to my computer. So I'm going to export as PNG, hit the save button and voila, I'm building up enough mock-up images to fill up my Etsy listing. If you guys found this video helpful, please let me know in the comments. I'm going to put a couple links in the description as well. Um, the link to PhotoP, so it's just easier to get there. I'm also going to link Custom Cat. This is the print-on-demand partner that I mentioned. This is my affiliate link. So if you're interested and you're ready to start your Etsy store and put some blankets in there, you can check that out there. And I'm also going to put information on my course, Gina's Profit Academy, if you want to learn more about me and what I do. Thanks for being here, guys.